so hey guys welcome back in kori bangla yt and in this video we are going to first of all preview the advanced inventory system you know the package from unreal engine marketplaces so someone give me this uh, asset pack uh, that he tell me that bro i am giving you two uh, different type of asset pack that one is the battle royal template and second one is this inventory advanced inventory system so he want to merge them both in a one game okay so let me show you the second one first of all let's see this uh, okay let me first of all open unreal engine one more that first of all let's preview this this is the advanced inventory system so as you can see this is the inventory that if you press the tab your inventory become invi uh, visible okay and this is cool enough guys let me show you that this is a sniper you can pick the ammo and as you can see there's a widget also showing that 7.62 mm bullets and you can reload okay and if you want you can also by scrolling your wheel you can oh no sorry you need to you need a weapon for scroll so let's pick another as you can see if i scroll my mouse you can change up the uh, guns that was so much cool you can aim okay but this aim is not so much good like the battle royale aim is so much good as i checked so if i fire but this one the fire is so much good as you can see the sound effect it's also so much good okay so yeah that is good and this is the kind of like a shotgun type okay like yep the shotgun type but it's kind of like bazooka okay but it's good okay this uh this asset pack so when you have the gun so if if you want you can drag and drop the gun as you can see the ground you can maybe drop the ammo and also how much ammo you want to drop you can count on here so let's uh, just drop a 13 ammo and yep as you can see the ammo and the uh as you can see the sniper and the ammo is again and if you pick again so as you can see that is cool and but i don't know that how to you know as you can see the weapon changing system not so much good in the inventory section but you can change from this manually okay like from one two by keyboard so also you can pick the waist helmets and I don't know what kind of helmet it is and then the helmet okay so okay there's a two different types of helmet gift as you can see and the two different type of backpack you can pick that is also nice and then you can pick the first state as you can see okay so guys first of all as you can see there's uh, also some ammo and drink and there's also a rifle available so let's pick the rifle that is akm okay let's pick the whole ammo and reload so it's not in auto as you can see it's not in auto but it's good this uh, template is uh, enough good okay so now let's check the as you can see there's uh, some bugs in this template that it's automatically show some value as you can see the input is validated or not okay there's uh, some bugs so there's a uh, lots of things that we need to fix and here's the advanced battle royale template so guys the problem is the main this is that someone else make this project so in my case just think that i make this project and if you try to use yourself so you don't understand the code of behind of the code this system like uh, let me show you they just open this example project and here is in for first time when you see this thing that how what is the interval this player reference what does they receive damage okay then interacting with key so there's a lots of as you can see that they already write okay but however for understanding the behind of the code as you can see there's a lots of system okay that is so much for tough to understand okay guys seriously i'm telling you to for understanding this whole function is so much difficult okay so by from these projects so you can get the reference that how you can set up the, your project not that you can merge okay in fact for me it's also very hard to merge them in a one project okay so let's try to open our this uh, this is the battle royal template uh, in the battle royal template there's i saw that you can do the hosting we can do the matchmaking you can pick different types of ammo the similar type but is this is a kind of like a pubg style so let me show you that if i set it to as a player as a central and set it to to windows player and if i click now play 
So there's, as you can see, the two templates available. So by, by default, what it will do, it's automatically match made. Okay, as you can see, this is our first player and this is our second player. Okay. So if I set like this, as you can see, so here you can, here's the red one, the red character. And as you can see, it's working, it's fully replicated. That was so much good and this is already match made so you can pick guns and also there's a plane come also as you can see and he also gives some drop that is good that one is good and then if you go to you can pick some gun also so you need to just click on f then they give you some guns but the guns is so much bad as you can see there's a go inside of that one okay let's try to use that sniper and but just guys look this sniper okay uh okay this is a shotgun <laughs> okay that was bad but this sniper okay our battle royal template sniper is so much good just see let me show you that you can aim that was so much good okay like yeah this fire is also so much good but yeah this template is so much good better than the advanced inventory but this inventory is not so much good as you can see you need to not so much high quality inventory but however this is good but there's a this thing i want that you can do the weapon changing system from the inventory that is good okay you can change up you can drag let's try if you can drag and drop that was good okay like if you just hold and set it to gun and why do you say it? uh sorry oh sorry sorry guys i'm just leave the match that's why so it will be work but guys there's a lots of thing you need to implement like let me show you if you die then what you need to do let me show you first of all let's preview the whole thing now let's try to kill uh, this uh, blue guy as you can see the server is now started but guys maybe you have a question that bro i now the server so i can this is a fully multiplayer no it's not fully multiplayer that you need to buy the hosting Okay, this is by default, it's running in your same PC. That's why you don't need any type of hosting or something. Okay, so let's try to find the blue player and let's try to kill him. Okay, then let me show you what's happened. And as you can see, he's taking damage and there's a match winner. He's the winner and he's the loser. Okay, th then let's go to lobby. Okay, and there's the lobby preview. And uh, also we need to click on lobby. So as you can see for matching matchmaking we need to click on hosting and when we click click on host that is the replicated on the same server so once it's done if you click same again so it will be automatically start the matchmaking for others player if they are waiting okay as you can see so now let's click on close and this as you can see waiting for others players and let's click on host and then as you can see they're creating the another one okay so that is so much complicated that for understanding the game okay this is not so much easy guys so in my case my opinion is just try to use these templates and just learn from this template not try to use them default create your own self if you create your own self then you can understand the game how it's working where is the code and what is these things okay like there's a lots of stuff you can use the assets you can use the behind of the codes like just try to simply find the assets pack and just open this thing and the go blueprints class and there's a parent okay let's search this where is code that is the main backpack and there's the inside of this backpack code there's a one more parent okay so as you can see there's a lots of parent so m dot pick and here's the actual or the real codes okay so for understanding this code you need maybe need lots of time so in my opinion guys don't try to uh, merge them in a one project okay like it's very hard to do it's take lots of time in my case i'm also telling you guys uh it's take some time to set up so in my opinion that just i to use the asset just try to learn then what they use and then just create another project and then use them the assets by yourself not that how they set up because there's a lots of thing need to set up yourself okay because there's a zone 
the car replicated there's a lots of thing if you try to do by their default you can't make a proper game or when you publish this thing that you publish your game in play store or stream okay then the if there come some bugs come so you can't be fixed you need lots of time to them fix so i would recommend you to just learn from this asset pack and just make your own game okay so guys thank you so much for watching guys and love you all and bye bye